Hi, I'm Ben Marriott. I'm a motion designer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a split screen effect inside Premiere Pro and how to animate it on as a transition. A split screen is used to show multiple pieces of footage on screen at the same time to give more information to the viewer. You can use this to tell two stories at once or show one object from multiple views and much more. We're going to create a vertical split screen with these two clips and we're going to create that as a transition as well. So we're going to start on this first clip and then our second clip will slide in and take up half of the frame. Now this is going to be easier to start from what we want the final scene to look like. So let's drag the second clip onto our second video track above our first one and let's zoom in a little bit more. We want the second clip to be on the right side of the frame. So let's drag its position on the X axis until it's framed where we want it on the right. There, I think that looks pretty good. And now we want to get rid of the excess footage on the left half of the screen. Now we can do that by applying the effect crop. So let's search for that in our effects panel. Let's apply that to our clip. And in our effects control panel, we have a bunch of parameters that we can change for crop. And all of these crop it in from its four sides. We can crop it from the left, crop it from the top, from the right, and from the bottom too. Let's reset all of those and we just want to crop it in from the left. So let's drag that until it's around in the middle. Now, if we want this exactly in the middle, we can click on our settings icon down here and choose safe margins. This will add our title safe guide and these cursors which mark the middle of our composition vertically and horizontally. And when we have the crop effect selected, we have this bounding box so we can just click and drag these edges into place and line it up with the middle exactly. There. Now let's turn our safety margins off. Great, now let's place our bottom clip where we want it in frame. I'm going to have a look through the whole clip and it looks like I want this to be further over to the left. So let's drag its position on the X axis. So now we get both of our subjects in view there. And I think it's fine we start with one of them and then as the clip progresses, it ends on them nice and centered in both sides of the shot. Great. Now there's no rule that says you have to split the screen in half exactly either. So do what works best for you and your story. Now let's animate our split screen sliding on. Let's find the point in our timeline where we want the transition to have finished happening. So let's say at around five seconds in, we want the transition to have finished and our screen to look like this. Let's select our top clip, clip two, and add a keyframe to its position at this point. And we do that by clicking the stopwatch next to position. And then a couple of seconds earlier, let's select this X axis position value and then drag that until that clip is completely off screen. There. Now when we play it back, it animates sliding on. But at the start, we have this blank area on the right because our first clip is pushed over to the left. So we need to animate our first clip's position as well. So let's navigate over to where our top clip finishes animating. And the best way to do that accurately is to select our top clip and we want to go to exactly this keyframe. And instead of doing that with our playhead, we can just select these arrows, which jump to the next and previous keyframe. Then we can select clip one, keyframe its position here. Let's go back to clip two, go to the first keyframe and then back to clip one we can just reset its position so it's right in the center. So now we've got no blank area on the right. And when we play it back, both of them animate in position. Now clip one is animating in position that we just added, but you can barely notice because the camera is moving and also this split screen animation draws all of our attention. Great, now to make this look a little bit smoother, let's select the second keyframe, right click, choose temporal interpolation and choose ease in. Make sure we do that for both of our clips now that animation is going to slow down and ease into its final position so it just looks a bit smoother now if we want we can add a border to this split screen to separate these clips even further we can do that by selecting our rectangle tool which is underneath our pen tool here so let's click and choose rectangle tool and then just drag a rectangle shape over our footage you don't need to drag it exactly where you want because we can easily adjust that and that creates a new graphic layer on our third video track let's make some more room for that so we can see it now let's adjust its settings in the effects control panel. If we select our arrow tool, we now have the transform property so we can drag that up and make that as thin as we like. Drag it over to the middle. Let's open up our shape and we can change the fill color from gray to black. And let's extend it so it covers our full length of our split screen effect. Now at the moment it stays in the middle and doesn't animate on with our split screen sliding in. So let's again click on clip two navigate to that second keyframe and then animate the position of our rectangle as well. Making sure to easy ease that second keyframe. There, and that's how you make a split screen effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
we learned how to add a split screen effect to our footage and how to animate that on as a transition. And please check out the rest of the videos in this series all about effects and Premiere Pro.